having a camera on Misty was pretty important for us. One was face recognition, so she could actually recognize you or other people in your family or your office. There's so many different applications with computer vision that you can use the camera for, so recognizing your pets or different objects in your home or having an understanding of where she's at in your home based on what she's seeing. So Misty actually has four cameras in her visor. We have one color camera that is 13 megapixels. We have uh, two near IR cameras that are 1280 by 960. And we have a wide field of view camera that is 640 by 480. And they're all used for different things. The color camera, for example, is used for face detection and recognition and things like that, and also for telepresence. The near IR cameras and the wide field of view cameras are used for mapping so that a Misty knows where she is. We've seen a local distillery train Misty to collect data by taking pictures of the stills and then abstracting the text out and reporting on that. And that has been automated so that Misty can go around and do it herself, but also there's a manual ability for someone to control Misty through a mobile app and then see what Misty sees through her cameras. Using the image or video that you get back from the camera on Misty, you can either use that locally for things like face recognition, but imagine what happens when you can take that imagery and send it up into the cloud to other services. So for instance, Microsoft Cognitive Services gives you context awareness about your environment. And when you have that data, you can really do amazing things with your skills that you're writing for Misty. So you can add new sensors, such as new cameras, to Misty. However, you have to add them with another processor. You can't just plug them right in. So we have built an example where we use a Pixie camera with the Raspberry Pi. So you could do the same thing with other cameras. For example, you could get a thermal camera, like the Clear Lepton camera, or you could get a regular webcam, or just anything you want. It doesn't even have to be a camera. It could be any other kind of sensor. Sometimes when you're building skills, you just want to manually try some things on Misty. Either have her drive around or capture an image from her wide-angle camera or her RGB camera. And the tool we built for this is called Command Center. It allows you to do that manual control, get the results immediately, and then use that data to program your skill. 